Welcome to a beautiful day here at Mills Motors, located at 240 Bond Street East in Oshawa. Today we're looking at the awesome 2016 Verano sedan shown here in the very nice crystal red tint coat. Under the hood has the 2.4 liter SIDI dock 4 cylinder engine with the 6 speed automatic transmission. Taking a look at the inside of the vehicle now, the upholstery is a mixture between cloth and leather. And down here you do have your six-way power adjustable driver's seat, including lumbar support. On the inside of the driver's side door, you do have quite a bit of storage, as well as you do have your window lock down here and your powered windows there. As well as up here, you do have your power lock and unlock and your powered mirrors. And you have this nice wooden grain trim throughout the whole vehicle. On the left-hand side here, you have your exterior lights, as well as you do have a little bit of storage located down below. I'm going to go ahead and start the car up now because I need some of the AC going. Down here, or rather up there, you do have your indicators. Back here uh, on the left-hand side of the steering wheel, you have your cruise control buttons. And on the right-hand side of the steering wheel, you have your hands-free buttons as well as your radio. And there are your wipers. Taking a look now at the touchscreen here, you do have your AM, FM, and XM radios as well as you can connect your phone. This vehicle is in demonstration. As well as you can connect your phone to the car. And if you go down here and we hit more, there are uh, your Bluetooth settings as well as your uh, configuration settings over there as well as you have your tone or your equalizer uh, up there and you do have some quick info settings or information rather that can be uh, seen. Here uh, just above the buttons for that operate the radio and help you navigate your way through that screen you do have your traction control button as well as your hazards and you do have your trunk release. Here you have all your buttons and knobs to help you navigate your way through that screen as well as uh, there are some quick start buttons, so you have your home button, your source button, as well as you do have your uh, other hands free buttons right there. Uh, if you do not want to touch the screen or just uh, not going to touch the screen, uh, you do have this dial right here that does navigate your way through there as well. And then you just push down on it on whatever item is highlighted and it will select that for you. Down here you do have your CD player and here you have all your aircon controls including your front and rear defrost as well as you do have your heated driver and passenger seats. You also do have a dual climb control, so as I get two different temperatures up here, I'll show you. You can have the driver at 17 and the passenger at 21, which is quite nice for when the driver and passenger do a different temperature wants. Below that, you do have a bit of storage as well as you do have an auxiliary power outlet. In between the two seats, you have your electronic parking brake, a bit of storage, two cup holders, and you do have this nice armrest here that does slide forward and backwards, and when it is all the way back, you can prop it open, and you will see on the inside there's a bit of room in there as well as a USB port and an auxiliary import there. Oops. And looking straight up from there, you do have this nice sunroof, which does let in lots and lots of sunlight, which is quite nice for when you want to let in some of that sunshine. But if it is a little bit too sunny outside, you can just pull this shade over and it will block everything out. And to operate that, you do have your buttons right here, as well as you do have your three garage door buttons, which is quite convenient. And on the rear view mirror, if you click that blue button there, you'll be connected on site. They can help you out with any situation that you're in, including pinpointing a destination for you here on your screen. And now we're going to take a look at the passenger side. You do have this nice big glove box here, which does offer lots of storage, as well as you do have that upper little shelf there, so you can store some smaller items. As well as that, on the passenger side, you do have your powered windows, your powered lock and unlock, and that nice wooden grain trim. Have a look at those sporty 18-inch aluminum wheels there with those black inserts in those pockets. It just looks so nice. And as we make our way over to the rear of the vehicle now, you can see that you do have your rear parking sensors that are lined up along this bumper here. And way down here, you do have your colored backup camera that does show for you on the inside of the car on that screen, which does help you when you're backing up into some of those tighter spaces. And now we're going to take a look at the trunk, and you can either open the trunk by pressing the button on the inside of the car, or pressing a hole in this lower left button here on the key fob, which is what I did. Once it's open, you'll see that there is a quite a bit of room back here, as well as you do have some hooks lined along the right and left hand side, so you can secure your cargo net back here to help separate some items and even to keep the items nice and safe and secure. Now those back seats down there, they do fold down flat, which means that you will be practically doubling the amount of room that you would have back here, making this a great vehicle for if you are moving or if you do have to lug around a lot of stuff. This vehicle, this, this vehicle, sorry, can, ha can hold a lot of cargo. Now looking at the rear passenger side door, you can see on the inside that there is quite a bit of storage as well as you do have your powered window control. And as I step into the back seat here, you can see that there is some storage here behind the passenger seat as well as there is some behind the driver's seat. As well as that, behind this little console here, you have this pop-out auxiliary power outlet, and down behind here, you do have a nice little bit of storage that slides out. Now, the second row seating does support three people, but when someone is not sitting in this middle seat here, you can just pull on that little tab there, and down fold the center folding armrest, as well as two cup holders, allowing for a little bit more of a relaxing ride. 
What a gorgeous car inside and out, folks, and it just gets better because it is also equipped with the safety and connectivity of OnStar, as well as having its own 4G LTE Wi-Fi hotspot, which does mean that you can connect your mobile devices to it whilst in the vehicle, helping move time along very quickly when you are going on some of those longer journeys. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is the awesome 2016 Verano sedan shown here in the very nice crystal red tint coat. Under the hood has the 2.4 liter SIDI dock four cylinder engine with the six speed automatic transmission. If you want to test drive this vehicle, we are located at 240 Bond Street East in Oshawa, and we would be very happy to show you that we will do whatever it takes.